wants to play some tech mobile. I do, I do. And here we are in a fight for the number two seed. You got the Nukes at 12 and four going up against the Michigan Stags, who of course are not a factor. But the Nukes need to come in with a 28 point victory to land themselves in position two over the survivors, I believe. Obviously, position one is locked up. So let's see what happens. Homer Simpson's gonna fire it to Yeiser gone. He's gonna trot out to the 20, be brought down. So let's see what the nukes can do. You saw each player, each team had somebody return from injury. That nose tackle's looking pretty good, but a little bit of an over pursue, and that is a nine and a half yard gain. Stag, second and one, shotgun formation. They're going to swing out. Oh, and he falls down, losing yards. Third and one. Jolts may try that same play. They do. They swing it out. They've got better coverage on that, and so he's going to pick up three and a half. Move the chains. Again in the shotgun formation. Again, they swing it out. Again, it's blocked pretty well. He's getting some decent yardage, fighting hard all the way for a first down. Very impressive. Now they switch up the formation a bit. Jolts is going to pitch it, but it's a call play. Banders, who looks pretty slow, is going to lose six. They try it again. Banders got nothing going on. He loses three, third and 19, so all those hard fought yards given away. Gonna have a deep man, a terrible throw. And so fourth and 19, they'll be forced to punt. A lot of pressure, takes his time. Finally fires it off. Decent coverage to Smithers. Who is gonna cough up the ball. This is not what you want when you're looking for a big lead. Can Smithers do anything? Oh, Smithers just holds his hand. Much like he does when he changes Mr. Burns' diaper and applies the suppository. Oh, he holds the hand and guides it in. That's disappointing. Split P up, and that is seven points right there. So now it's a 35 points that the Nukes need to score. And a deep, deep kick. The Stags fired up in the hopes of playing spoiler. Smithers looks slow, deep in there. Brought down at the seven. Let's see what this high-powered Nukes offense can do. They're going to fake it. They're going to have the deep man. There's a guy there, but it's over his outstretched arms to Flanders. But he pushed it. The man in his face made him launch it just a little bit too high. Now they go to motion. And the line holds nicely. Defense in a pretty good spot. Oh, and he tosses it out of bounds. The Nukes looking a little bit rattled. I'm just going to call them the Simpsons from now on. God damn it, that's what their name should be. Uh, not much pressure. Going to, oh, he tried to lead them, but it was too aggressive, and so they're going to be forced to punt and punt standing in their own end zone. Very little pressure applied there. Yeiser going at the 39 and overwhelmed at the 44. Jolts is up with the pitch, and he does not quite make the line to gain. Will we see the same play again? We will. A little bit better blocking, but he only picks up three, third and eight. Now it's motion time. And he's got a chance. He does fire it to Bones Jackson, who I believe who came back from injury. That's a nice pickup. That'll move the chains. They try it again. Call play this time. He sees it. Can run. Oh, and the heartbreak anger. Rage building. Call play when the QB scrambles for 10. Is anything more annoying than that? But Bart Simpson, I will intercept the ball this game. I will intercept the ball this game, he writes on the chalkboard. And manifesting the destiny. There it is. And then it's a quick jump off to Hibbert, who I don't fuck. who the hell is Hibbert? 
Thought I was a pretty avid Simpsons fan. And Duff Duffman, nothing. So third and two, just like that, off of the INT. Here comes Motion. Oh, and it's a call play. They're going to swallow him up fourth and eight. So the golden opportunity to get the drive rolling. But they're just going to be punting it away. The eyes are gone. Now at the 30. Slow. Plows to the 38. So after all that, about a 10-yard loss of field position for the Stags. A lot of pressure up the middle. Dangerous. Nothing happening there. Here comes that sweep. Got a few blockers, but the defense reads it well. The eyes are gone, or jolts, I should say. Bumps into the back of two people and then falls down. Got a man, but it's a terrible throw. And Quickie, Apu, who owns the Quickie Mart. Me, very good catch. Gets the pick, and now the field position has really swapped. Let's see what they can do here. He's going to dump it off to Mo, the bartender. He's going to pick up six. Now it's a call play, however. Spew Puke comes in, gets four of those back, third and eight. What do we see here? He's got a couple of choices. Can he get the jump? Oh, Flanders a little tired from railing Marge on the side. Had no spring in the legs. That is too bad. So it's a deep, deep kick. The eyes are gone. It's just going to stand there. They'll get it at the 20. And if the goal is a stalemate, the Stags are winning. Here's a pitch. Going to have a little bit of blocking. The eyes are gone. Looks maybe just a touch faster. Maybe we've been looking at banders. Here's Yeiser gone, trying to sprint. Yeiser gone has some speed. He's going to get a first down. That's who they need to be giving the ball to. Instead, they mix it up. The pitch to Banders, who falls down. Get that kid out of the game. Here comes Motion, trying to get it going. Can he avoid somebody? He hits the line of the outside line a little too, a little too early there. Third and ten shotgun. This time they throw. They've got the dump off to Japan's or Trek, who's going to get a first. As they're inching toward the midfield line. Now it's the handoff with the motion, but it's read very well. And Yeiser going to lose his four. Not much he could do there. Now it's the swing, but they've called it. And again, all those yards they were clawing for. Third and 21. Tough scenario. For the struggling stags, they're going to try. He, will he throw it behind him? Ref, ref, it's a fumble. But nobody calls it that. The refs aren't paying attention. Or they've just been bought off. So this has been the best offensive play for the stags thus far. The punt, fumble, scoop, and score. Doesn't happen this time, but they lock him down at the 20. Duff Duffman, they're going reverse. Here comes Flanders. He's got some guys. He's met in the backfield and loses three. A little bit of pressure up front. This time he finds Hibbert. This time he gets the jump. And Hibbert with a big gain. You feel like these nukes are getting ready to explode. Kind of like when somebody tickles my taint for five minutes. Here it comes. Man in his face, there's a defender there, but Dr. Hibbert catches, not a first, but that's okay, second and one. Need a score here, and then got to unload in the second half. They give to Flanders, a little more greed for Flanders. Takes a bit of a weird angle, but maybe it works well to drag him in. It's a big pickup just outside the red zone, one minute to go. With a few bonus seconds, let's see, they're going to go right back to him. It's a call play, spew puke with the second sack for the game for him. Now it's a double back set for Duffman. And he may just take off himself. He's got some speed. Can anyone catch him? They do at the one. First and goal at the one. They need two stops here. 
Can they get anything going? It's a slow play reverse, but slow doesn't matter. They punch it in, looking to tie this game. Here's the old Reverend Lovejoy. Can they knock it through? Looks like it'll doink in. So we do have ourselves a tie ball game. Advantage still to the Stags, because it's really 35 to seven. The eyes are going here, hoping to get a little something. Bowls over a couple people. Doesn't actually look that fast. Triple back, uh, excuse me, trips to the right, but they swing it. The blockers do their job. Jolt's burning some clock. Runs over a couple of people. Who would expect it from their QB? Too bad it counts for nothing but a few stats. One hell of a play there to set the tone as they go in. Maybe these stags aren't going to go out down without a fight. <laughs> they will be kicking off. Smithers awaits deep. He stands at the 17, brought down pretty much immediately at the 23. Shitty return. I don't think he's their primary return guy. Here comes motion. They haven't been lucky getting the deep guy wide open. They are going to do that check down to Dr. Hibbert, who's tied up, but not after he gains nine. Now it's a spread formation. We haven't seen this play call much. It's Cohen with the QB sneak. Duffman, though, fast and easily picks up the first. They've got two of those sneaks in there. Now they're trying to fool us with the reverse. Let's see what happens. They free up a couple guys, but Flanders hits the outside and then falls down in front of his blocker, but not after a 12-yard pickup. Spew puke. This time they leave the deep man open. We know he's dangerous. Oh, he didn't lead him enough, though. Waited too long and let the defender come back in. Oh, they've left him open this time. That's troublesome. He's going to fire it to Flanders. And it's going to be a diving grab, dusts himself off, blows on his fingernails, and strides in. Heidly ho, neighbor, Duff Duffman with a nice catch. With, excuse me, with a nice throw. Flanders with a catch. The kick straight down the center, zero pressure. And it is 7 to 14. Here comes the Iser gone. Out to the 24. There's the pitch to the slow-ass Banders, who's got a lot of green. And one of his best runs picks up seven. They're going to go right back to him. They are. Can he get the first? He does make a nice move there. I think he has moved up at least out of bad. And he does get the first. Now we've got some motion. Line doesn't hold particularly well. It's forced to do a quick release and doesn't even get there. Second and ten. Shotgun, they stay in it. Pressure up the middle. Is he going to fire it pretty deep? Oh, but I think that was double covered. Nothing happening there. Third and ten. Same play formation. They do throw it. He's got pressure again. That wasn't doing anything. Fourth and ten. <laughs> Gonna get that kick off. Boot fires it. Not great coverage. Not a great kick. Smithers there. Smithers down at the 44. So pretty good starting field position for these nukes. They do at least cover the deep man, although he's slow. They jump it off to Mo. Mo's got some speed. A little bit of glory still left in him. Seems like every bartender's got a backstory. A lot of pressure up the middle, but he's just going to fire it to Flanders, and again, they can't connect. Pressure up the middle this time. Call play. And knocked away. So that's a big third down coming up right here. Big third down. They're going to run. He's going to toss somebody. Oh, but the jersey grab is enough to force a field goal. And a field goal's not their friend at this stage in the game. 
And he shank tanks it, but it's blocked. Can anybody pick it up? There's several of them there. And he might be going. This is fortuitous. Oh, that's the stag season in a nutshell. They finally come out, block the fucking field goal, and yet Duff Duffman, it was going to be a missed field goal, then it's blocked, then fucking Duff Duffman picks it up, tied up with people, and is finally able to score. And suddenly that chance, which had essentially evaporated at nothing of getting their 28-point lead, they are halfway there. Guys are gone, still running, looking to do a little damage. Oh, can't get the block. Does bring it out to the 40. Let's see, the Stags have got to get something going here. A little bit of green, couple of jukes, picks up three and a half. Now it's motion. Got plenty of time. I think he's just firing it to a covered dude. Lucky that wasn't picked off. Suddenly it's third and seven. I'm going to give it to fucking Banders. Now his eyes are gone. He's got speed. Should hit the first and does. Nice 11-yard pickup there. First down. Double back set. Are we going to see Flea Flicker? Could be a problem. It's yeah, a very quick throw to nobody. Now it's that shotgun formation. Here comes the swing. Defense is all over it. Oh, he's going to pick up more than I thought. Gets four. Big third down here. We've got motion. We're going to try to sweep it up, but there's defenders all over the place. Guys are going made one miss, but there were two more, and so they're going long field goal here. This could be significant. And it's a relatively close shot, but they're so far away... He cannot make it, and that sets them up in beautiful field position. Call play again, and down goes Duff Duffman with a half Nelson. Now it's that two-back set here. Oh, they leave the deep man open. He throws it too quick to Mo, who is chopped down. Third and nine. Again, they're trying the same play. Call play. Pressure up the middle. They fire it off to Moe. Somehow gets a first down on the call play. Now each team has gotten a bullshit first down on a call play. Here comes that motion. No real pressure. They do at least pick somebody up. Moe gets a diver. He picks up 15. Marching down the field. Of course, they're not going to know they need the points. So they will not go onside. Duff Duffman with a nice run. Then destroy. Line holds nicely. Got several choices to check it down to. Goes to Lovejoy. A little bit more dangerous, but sneaks it in there. 20-yard gain. First and 10. Make it first and goal, sister. Motion again. No one comes through. He's got a man. He's got Dr. Hibbert, who is tied up. Second and two. Really one and a half. They're going to try the sneak call play, though. Duffman locked up. The clock is on the stag side, third and three. Field goal here would be catastrophic. They try that same play. Oh, he makes a nice move and gets the TD as a result. Knock that in. They are now one touchdown away. Medium kick to the eyes are gone. Slightly angled to the near side. He awaits it at the nine. And brought down almost immediately at the 16. They read this play well. He does have some blockers. Oh, he's got a bit of green. Another block. Look at him go all the way out to the 48. That's a huge play. Now it's a double back set. And he's going to be sacked. Patty Bouvier inhales her cigarette and then sits on his face. And man, I don't envy that. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, ho, ho. That could have been a fumble. Even still now, they're likely to get the ball back. Here comes this shitty pass play. Can he get a diver? No. Incomplete. So they will be punting the ball with a minute. Oh, that's right. They're going to fucking go for it. And they're probably going to turn it over in brilliant position. Oh, the guy gets picked up. Is he going to toss it to him? Who's he throwing to? He's going to try a deep for Jackson. Who cannot make the grab. So here comes motion. Here comes reverse. Zero pressure. The Stags just look like they have given up. 26 seconds left. Second and five. Double back set for Duffman. He's going to take it himself. Picks up a few. That's not what they need. 17 seconds left. Man in motion. Oh, they've left him open. They have left him open. Is he going to push it too far? Looks like a soft throw. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown. And I believe if they make this extra point, they will move into the number two seed. On the last play of the game, he kicks it. It's up and good. So there it is, 35-7. We said they needed it. They win by 28 on the last play, moving into seat number two. Wowzers. Let's see how that changes the fates of the playoffs. We'll see you there.